Hello, I'm Karin and I'm the artist of CE Artworks. I've, I'm a university graduate from Wolverhampton and I've been out of uni for two years and this is the kind of artwork I do. It's cute, coupley, and usually it's just me and my boyfriend or just me on my own. So here's a few examples. You might recognise some of the styles. There's also like I draw variety, so a lot of Tim Burton because I like his work. Um, anime is a big influence of mine. These kind of rough sketches. Video games because of course we've all been doing a lot of that during lockdown. Tea or coffee, I drink a lot of that being an artist. So yeah. Here's an example of one of the sketches I've done and I'm going to ink this for you today. Okay, so I usually work with a variety of fine liners as you can see by the side of me. Um, any quality of black fine liner works, just be careful because some do bleed out on your page. I usually draw with a mechanical pencil, I recommend Papermate, they're really good. Even though the Asda ones, even though they're basic, they work really well too. So I usually start with the face. So I'm, so with this picture, her eyes are closed. So it's usually like a round sausage with triangles for the eyelashes. And then two little curved lines above her eye, so you can tell where the eyelid would be. And then the same again on her other eye. So I usually draw noses a bit more realistic than some of artists. So some anime artists just draw a dot, but I draw more of a curve. So because I got quite a round nose, I give my characters quite round noses. Then, because she's happy, her eyebrows are quite thin, so they're just simple arches, like so. Then you got your happy, smiley face. I leave a slight gap. It's up to you with that one. And then a few extra lines, like the little chin and then dimples and stuff like that. Then I go around the bottom of her face to draw the line for her chin. Then. As you see, there's a few ha hair strands that connect on my face, so I connect them with drawing around towards the forehead, then down, and you usually draw triangles when you're drawing straight hair, or just flicky, messy hair, <laughs> like so. Then I draw a line downwards either side with a little bit of a gap, but so you got your neck. Depends on how thick you want your neck, depends on the gap in between. And then it's followed by drawing more wavy lines to create volume in your hair, if you've got curly hair. If not, just draw straight lines and it usually works for straight hair. Afro or Caribbean hair, you usually draw more cloud shapes. Well, that's what I do anyway. Go around and draw more curls like so and just add a few little lines in her hair anyway so it gives it a bit more texture and it looks a bit flat then draw part of an oval that's how I would describe that shape, is the bottom of your neck. Then lines downwards either side to create your shoulders. And because this is a female character, drawing curves to show where her breasts would be. Then bottom of her t-shirt. Curve line underneath, just that typical crease you get on t-shirts. Then a few extra lines 
to show creases of the material. Then you can draw whatever you want on your t-shirt. This character just happens to have Spongebob. But yeah, I usually wear cartoon t-shirts, so a lot of my characters have cartoons on themselves as well. Or I draw myself wearing my Harry Potter colours. Because I'm a Slytherin. <laughs> well, your character can literally be anything. My one just happens to be an example of how I draw myself. You can draw fan art, a character you've made up yourself. Whatever makes you happy is what I usually go with. And there's the initial outline. I just colour in the eyelids, eyelashes, I mean, <laughs> in so they're fuller and actually fuller colour. Then these here are just the anime symbols, meaning she's happy or excited and they're like the top of an exclamation point, that's all they are and they usually are drawn in sets of three, they're almost like small triangles as well, but there she is. introduce that it's the second drawing huh? okay well this is a second drawing she this is another version of my sona she's sitting down holding a cup so this style is called chibi in japan which just means small and fat they usually characters with big heads big eyes and really really cute i like to draw in this style a lot um, I get. I usually look on Pinterest, Google, even sometimes they come up on Facebook of different images for inspiration. Drawing for me comes from anywhere and anyone. If I know a person, I tend to draw them at least once, or they ask me to. So with this one, she's a bit more detailed than the last. So I'll go for it for you guys. So I usually start with the face, as you know, so there's her little nose. Then with the eyes, they're a bit more detailed, so you draw a circle with a line, so it almost looks like a wonky six. Little triangles at the edge of the line, so you've got the eyelashes, and two little ones underneath. A little dot for your pupil, and then I usually colour the top half of the eye so she looks extra cute and then you leave the bottom for the colour then another little line above for your eyelid line for eyebrows and then I'll do the same on the other eye like so Then you choose what kind of expression you want for your character. This, she's also got a cheeky little grin. Because I'm a very much optimist and positive person. So of course I draw my character being quite positive. Then I go around the top half of her head this time. And bring the curl round and in. And then it flicks. Like you would when you're drawing your pervasive handwriting. You can find my line arts on my Facebook page under CE Artworks. I've drawn Disney princesses, I've got a bunch, a bunch of Dungeons and Dragons. There's a few line arts on there of original characters I've drawn. Even a couple of me and my boyfriend. I don't mind you guys colouring them in as you, if you want to. That's fine by me. I have commissions open as well if you're interested feel free to contact me directly if you've got any questions 
happy to help and encourage young people to draw. So her hair's tucked around her hair this time, so that's like on the hairdo slightly different. I usually do a wonky S, so backwards S or backwards C is usually how I do the inner ear. And then another line for dimples. So I'll go around and it's like a top of a lampshade for her shoulder. And then the other shoulder is hidden. You do a line, two lines underneath for like part of a rectangle for the bottom of her arm. Then like a chicken drumstick is how I describe that shape for her other part of her arm. Then little sausages for your fingers. Then it's like a curved rectangle for the mug. And the same again for the other fingers. And then you do an arch around fingers and then it looks like a handle. And then a few curly lines coming off the mug. So it's obviously a hot drink. Then her t-shirt comes around the bottom. So you've got like the little indent, so it's got the crease where the folds are when you sit down. Then curve underneath, so where she's sitting. Then she's sitting with her knees up, so the knees should be underneath the little mug. Then the other knee comes round, so they're like longer versions of the line shape shape you drew before, with an arch underneath. Then her feet are usually little wonky ovals. Again, same on the other foot, but this one is slightly hidden by the main foot. And then you can draw whatever pattern you want on your socks. I happen to draw with stripy socks. Then I usually just add a few extra lines about the face for the creases in the clothing.